Nurturing positive habits is the silent architect of mental resilience, shaping the contours of a fulfilled and balanced mind. Let's take a closer look at our mental well-being, a fragile terrain where our habits, whether positive or not so great, make lasting marks. It's crucial to understand that our mental health is not some far-off place but woven into the very fabric of our lives, influenced by the habits we develop. Come along as we dig into this journey and uncover how specific habits affect our mental well-being, an impact that goes deeper than the surface and reaches the essence of our identity. Firstly, let's talk about self-esteem and confidence, those pillars that define our sense of self. Bad habits like stealthy intruders can quietly erode these pillars, leaving us standing on shaky ground. Consider the habit of procrastination, a seemingly innocuous delay in tasks that can morph into a heavy burden on our self-esteem. When we keep delaying things, it's like we're saying to ourselves, I can't manage this. And with each task we put off, our confidence kind of goes down a bit. It's not just about the stuff we haven't done yet. It's also about those quiet feelings of not being sure about ourselves that come along with it. Now let's turn our gaze to nail biting, a habit that often surfaces in moments of stress or anxiety. Picture this, you find yourself biting your nails during a meeting or while grappling with a challenging situation. It's not just about the physical act, it's a manifestation of unease, a silent expression of the tension within. In these moments, our self-esteem can take a dip as we confront the visible evidence of our nervousness. It's as if the habit becomes a mirror reflecting our internal struggles, and each bitten nail is a marker of a moment when stress got the better of us. Excessive screen time, the modern-day companion, also weaves its narrative into the tapestry of our mental well-being. The constant barrage of information, the comparison spurred by social media, and the incessant connectivity can contribute to a subtle erosion of confidence. It's the quiet comparison game that plays out on our screens, and as we scroll through curated images and stories, we may find ourselves questioning our own worth. The habit of constantly checking and comparing can create a breeding ground for self-doubt, impacting how we perceive ourselves in the digital realm and beyond. Now let's venture into the terrain of stress and anxiety, those unwelcome guests that often accompany certain habits. Procrastination with its roots in avoidance can be a breeding ground for stress. As tasks pile up, deadlines loom, and the weight of uncompleted projects accumulates, stress becomes a constant companion. It's not just the pressure of the present moment, but the anticipation of future challenges that can contribute to a heightened state of stress. The habit itself may start as a response to stress, but it becomes a loop, feeding back into the cycle and exacerbating our feelings of being overwhelmed. Nail-biting, too, is intimately linked to stress and anxiety. In moments of tension, the impulse to bite our nails may serve as a subconscious coping mechanism. It's a physical outlet for the emotional turmoil within. Yet, this habit, while offering a momentary release, can also contribute to a cycle of heightened anxiety. The visible signs of nail biting may become a source of additional stress, creating a loop where the habit and its emotional consequences feed into each other. Excessive screen time in its constant stimulation can also fuel anxiety. The flood of information, the pressure to respond promptly to messages, and the ever-present notifications can create a sense of urgency that permeates our digital lives and subsequently our mental well-being. The habit of being constantly tethered to our screens can contribute to a state of perpetual alertness, leaving us on edge and vulnerable to the grips of anxiety. Now let's step into the real stories, the narratives of individuals who have grappled with the emotional consequences of these habits. Meet Jane, a professional juggling multiple responsibilities. The habit of procrastination became a constant companion, subtly chipping away at her confidence. Each postponed task seemed like evidence of her perceived inadequacy. The weight of unmet goals became a heavy burden, and Jane found herself caught in a cycle of stress and self-doubt. And consider Sarah, whose excessive screen time became a silent accomplice in her journey through the digital landscape. The habit of constantly comparing herself to others on social media left her questioning her own worth. The curated images and stories created a distorted mirror reflecting back a version of herself that seemed to fall short. The anxiety spurred by this constant comparison became a silent undercurrent in her daily life. These are not isolated stories, but echoes of experiences that resonate with many. 
The emotional consequences of bad habits are not confined to the individual. They ripple through our relationships, our work, and our overall quality of life. In these stories, we get a glimpse of the human side of habits, the challenges, the victories, and the intricate link between our actions and feelings. As we think about how bad habits affect our mental well-being, it's important to approach this exploration with kindness. Our habits don't define us, and recognizing the emotional impact isn't about blaming ourselves, it's about being aware. It's a chance to see how our habits and emotions are tied together and create room for positive changes. Let's dive deeper into the psychology of habits, digging into the reasons that tie them closely to our lives. We'll unravel the habit loop, figuring out how cues, routines, and rewards mold our actions. It's a journey of getting to know ourselves better and making positive changes. Join me in this adventure. Be ready to discover valuable insights and realizations. Just remember, you're not on your own in this exploration. By understanding how our habits affect our mental well-being, we open the door to personal growth and resilience. The impact of habits on physical well-being. Unlocking positive habits is the key to sculpting a healthier, vibrant life from the inside out. Embarking on a journey into the domain where our daily habits imprint not only on our minds but also on our physical well-being, we delve into the nuanced relationship between our routines and our health. This discussion transcends superficial repercussions delving into the intricate interplay of habits and physical well-being. Join us as we examine how seemingly innocuous behaviors habits often overlooked intricately interlace with the fabric of our physical health. To commence, let's illuminate the ramifications of our habits on physical health. It is convenient to disregard the reality that our bodies bear the repercussions of our daily choices. Consider the prevalent habit of prolonged screen time, where digital devices seamlessly integrate into our lives. Constantly gazing at screens, particularly in the evening, introduces a potential detriment to our physical health. The blue light emitted by screens can disrupt circadian rhythms, adversely affecting the quality of our sleep. Sleep, beyond being a nightly ritual, stands as a cornerstone of our overall well-being. Now let's turn our attention to procrastination, a seemingly innocuous inclination to delay tasks that can unravel the delicate equilibrium of our sleep patterns. Envision a scenario where impending deadlines and accumulated tasks result from protracted procrastination. The habit of deferring responsibilities can culminate in late nights, disrupting our sleep and subsequently influencing our energy levels and overall vitality. Nail-biting, a habit often born out of stress or anxiety, can also have physical consequences. Beyond the aesthetic aspect, the act of biting nails can introduce bacteria into the mouth and subsequently the body. It's a subtle yet tangible impact on our physical health, a consequence of a habit that might seem inconsequential in the moment. Now let's delve into the physical toll of these habits on our posture. Picture the dedicated student hunched over a desk, engrossed in procrastination-fueled cramming sessions. The habit of prolonged sitting coupled with poor posture can create a recipe for musculoskeletal issues. It's not just about the immediate discomfort, it's about the potential long-term consequences on our spine, shoulders, and neck. Excessive screen time with its gravitational pull often finds us slouched over our devices for extended periods. The habit of scrolling through social media or binge watching can inadvertently lead to a posture that places strain on our muscles and joints. It represents a tangible expression of a habit that, if unaddressed, may lead to persistent discomfort and gradually give rise to more severe health complications. Now let's delve into the enduring repercussions, the lasting effects of our habits that resonate over the years. Consider the impact of poor posture and outcome of habits like prolonged sitting and screen time on our spine. Over time, these habits can contribute to conditions like kyphosis or lordosis, affecting the curvature of our spine. What starts as a subtle slouch can evolve into a physical challenge that accompanies us into our later years. The habit of procrastination, although appearing benign in the short term, can exert enduring effects on our overall health. Persistent deferment of tasks leads to chronic stress associated with looming deadlines, potentially contributing to a spectrum of health issues ranging from cardiovascular problems to compromised immune function. This underscores the notion that the ramifications of our habits transcend immediate consequences, embedding themselves as threads within the fabric of our long-term health. 
nail biting beyond its impact on the appearance of our nails can have implications for our oral health. The introduction of bacteria from the nails into the mouth can, over time, contribute to issues like infections or inflammation. It's a reminder that habits, even those that might seem small, can have a cumulative effect on our physical well-being. As we navigate the landscape of physical well-being, it's crucial to recognize that our habits are not isolated events, but interconnected threads in the intricate web of our health. Each choice we make, every habit we cultivate, exerts a tangible influence on the well-being of our bodies. The focus lies not in pursuing perfection or adopting an all-or-nothing approach, but in cultivating awareness and a willingness to implement small, sustainable changes. Now let's step into the heart of the matter, the stories of individuals whose physical well-being has been touched by their habits. Meet Alex, a devoted professional whose habit of procrastination led to late nights at the desk, staring at screens in a race against time. The impact on sleep and posture became apparent over time, manifesting in a persistent sense of fatigue and discomfort. Then there's Emma, whose love for binge-watching shows translated into hours spent slouched on the couch. The physical consequences of this habit became evident as she started experiencing chronic back pain and discomfort. What started as a leisurely activity turned into a physical challenge that lingered beyond the screen time. And consider Mike, whose habit of nail biting seemed innocuous until he started noticing signs of infection around his nails. The physical toll of this habit became a wake-up call, prompting him to reevaluate his choices and their impact on his overall health. These narratives are not isolated incidents, but rather reflections of experiences resonating with a broad audience. The physical repercussions of our habits extend beyond individual realms. They reverberate throughout our daily existence, shaping our energy levels, comfort, and long-term health. In these accounts, we discern the tangible influence of habits on our physical bodies, a poignant reminder that the decisions made today establish the groundwork for the well-being of our future selves. Then there's Emma, whose love for binge-watching shows translated into hours spent slouched on the couch. The physical consequences of this habit became evident as she started experiencing chronic back pain and discomfort. What started as a leisurely activity turned into a physical challenge that lingered beyond the screen time. As we navigate the impact of habits on our physical well-being, let us approach this endeavor with a sense of empowerment. We have the agency to make choices that nurture our bodies, and in understanding the physical consequences of our habits, we open the door to a path of well-being and vitality. The journey ahead involves small intentional steps, an adjustment in posture, a mindful break from screens, a commitment to prioritize sleep. It's a journey of self-care and I invite you to walk alongside, ready to embrace the insights and revelations that await. Remember, your body is a reflection of the choices you make and in choosing well, you pave the way for a vibrant and thriving physical existence. Recognizing behavioral patterns. Unveiling the tapestry of our actions, recognizing behavioral patterns is the compass guiding us towards transformative change, where self-awareness meets the power to redefine our journey. Let's take a journey into the fascinating world of behavioral patterns, those subtle dance moves our habits perform in the theater of our daily lives. It's a tale of how habits like seasoned actors take center stage and over time, become an integral part of our behavior. Embark on an exploration into the intricacies of habit formation, delving into the subtle dynamics of the habit loop and comprehending the challenges inherent in breaking free from entrenched behaviors. Consider this scenario. It's an ordinary Tuesday morning and upon awakening, your instinct leads you to reach for your phone. The familiar alert tones act as a cue, initiating a routine of perusing messages, social media updates and news feeds. Unbeknownst to you, your day commences in a synchronized engagement with your device. What transpired in that moment? Welcome to the habit loop, a sequence that unfolds without conscious thought, shaping the rhythm of our behavior. Habits, whether consciously acknowledged or not, subtly embed themselves into our daily routines. How does this occur? Let's dissect it in straightforward terms. The habit loop comprises three key elements, the cue, the routine, and the reward. Firstly, there's the cue, the trigger that sets the habit in motion. In our morning phone routine, the cue could be the sound of notifications signaling the beginning of the habitual dance. Q 
cues can be external, like a specific time of day, or internal, such as an emotional state or a certain environment. They serve as the starting point for our habits, often operating on a subconscious level. Now let's move to the routine, the actual behavior or action prompted by the cue. In our phone scrolling scenario, the routine involves navigating through apps, reading messages, and absorbing information. This is the visible part of the habit, the action that we repeat over and over. It's the dance steps we take without consciously thinking about them. Finally, there's the reward, the positive outcome or reinforcement that follows the routine. In the context of our morning phone routine, the reward might be a sense of connection, staying informed, or even a momentary distraction. Rewards are the driving force behind the habit loop, creating a feedback loop that reinforces the behavior. Over time, our brains learn to associate the cue and routine with the pleasurable reward, solidifying the habit loop. Now let's talk about how habits become automatic and seemingly resistant to change. Imagine that over the weeks, months, or even years, you've repeated this morning phone routine countless times. The habit loop has etched itself into the neural pathways of your brain, creating a well-trodden path. It's like walking through a field of tall grass. The more you tread the same route, the clearer the path becomes. This process, known as neuroplasticity, is the brain's way of adapting to repeated behaviors. As we engage in a habit loop, our brain forms connections between neurons, creating a neural pathway associated with the routine. With each repetition, this pathway becomes more well-defined and the behavior becomes automatic. It's why, even on days when you might intend to break the routine, you find yourself reaching for your phone without a second thought. The habit has become a well-worn groove in the landscape of your behavior. Breaking free from automatic habits can be challenging precisely because of this well-established neural pathway. It's like trying to forge a new path through that field of tall grass. The familiar route is so ingrained that your brain, seeking efficiency, defaults to the well-trodden path, making the new behavior feel like a struggle against the current. Now let's delve into why habits can be particularly resistant to change. The habit loop, with its cue, routine, and reward, is designed to create a sense of pleasure or satisfaction. The reward, whether it's the satisfaction of completing a task or the momentary distraction provided by your phone, reinforces the behavior. Consequently, despite our awareness of the adverse outcomes associated with a habit, the instant satisfaction derived from the routine compels us to persist. Reflect upon a habit you endeavored to overcome previously, such as procrastination. In this scenario, the triggering cue could be an impending deadline. The established routine involves postponing the task and the reward manifests as a fleeting sense of relief from evading the work. Despite the negative consequences, stress, missed opportunities, a sense of unfulfillment, the habit loop persists because the immediate reward provides a momentary escape. So how can we navigate this intricate web of habit formation and make intentional choices about our behavior? The key lies in understanding the habit loop and introducing intentional modifications. Let's take our morning phone routine as an example. You can start by identifying the cue. What triggers the desire to reach for your phone? Is it the sound of notifications, the time of day, or a certain emotional state? Once you pinpoint the cue, consider experimenting with a new routine that still provides a sense of reward. Instead of scrolling through your phone, you might choose to start your day with a brief mindfulness practice, a moment of gratitude, or a physical activity. The idea is to interrupt the habitual dance with a new set of steps. It's important to note that breaking a habit doesn't mean erasing it entirely. The neural pathways associated with the old routine will still exist, but over time, with consistent intentional choices, you can create new pathways. It's like forging a new trail through that field of tall grass. With each intentional step, the path becomes clearer and the new behavior becomes more automatic. Remember, the journey of habit change is not about perfection, but about progress. It's about embracing the dance of intentional choices and recognizing that change is a gradual, ongoing process. As you navigate the landscape of your habits, approach it with curiosity and kindness. Understand that the habit loop with its cue, routine, and reward is a natural part of human behavior, and your capacity for change is a testament to the flexibility of your brain. We'll continue to explore the intricacies of habit formation, 
diving into specific habits, their impact, and practical strategies for intentional change. As we journey together, keep in mind that every intentional step you take is a move toward creating a dance of habits that align with your values and aspirations. So, let's continue this exploration with an open heart and a willingness to dance with the rhythms of intentional living. And there you have it, the heartfelt journey through the life cycle of habits. From the humble seed of intention to the flourishing tree of integrated habits, each stage is a testament to your commitment and growth. Remember, habits are not about perfection, but progress. Embrace the journey, celebrate the small victories, and allow the transformation to unfold at its own pace. May your habits be a source of strength, joy, and positive change in your life's beautiful narrative. Want to deep dive into any of these? Leave a comment below and let me know. As always, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more awesome content.